Oops. Uh, why do I choose big ones? Why? <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be doing my April TBR. So this week, this week, so this month I am participating in two readathons. The first being Realmathon which is hosted by Covers with Cassie. So the premise of this one is a island setting where there is separated by different realms and the books you read accumulate points to either increase your own magic or decrease everyone else's. And the other readathon I'm participating in is, of course, Magical Readathon hosted by G over at Book Roast. So I will leave their links to the announcements down below in the description box. So the way this TBR is going to work is that I will be going through the prompts I'm going to be using for the Magical Readathon and then just basically saying, explaining whether or not I'm going to use that book in Realmathon because it's a bit easier to sort of do that rather than just hold up the same book twice. So let's get into it. Okay, so going into the Magical Readathon now, I am essentially going to be a Master of Elements, which is essentially the Order of the Crescent exclusive. That was just easier for me to do rather than try and do some of the other prompts, which had more than so, uh, quite a few books for the Spring Equinox. So I'm trying to limit the book size, but looking at my TBR is not working. So. But let's get into that. So the first prompt was Elemental Studies, and that is to read a book under 100 pages. So for this one, I'm just going to be doing a reread of the first volume of Life is Strange. This is a book I read back in January as part of my reading, and it's under 100 pages. So I think it's 80-something pages. So just a quick little fun one, just to get me in the mood for reading. And I read it at five stars last time, so quick easy read for that. Okay, prompt number two was Shape Shifting, and that is to read a book with a creature with claws on the cover. So for this one I am going to be reading The War of Two Queens by Jennifer L. Armentrout. This is the what was it, book four in the Blood and Ash series. So in Blood and Ash we follow Poppy who is a maiden so she's essentially shunned from, no she's not shunned but she's shut off from the world so she can't talk to random people, she can't have romantic relationships with them, yada yada yada. So this is book four, as I said. It is it is a huge little boy. Um, I'm very, very keen to get to this, especially the way book three ended. It's like, holy crap, holy crap. So I'm very, very keen to pick up this one. Um, like I said, it is a chunker, but it's not the biggest book I have to read this month. I will get into that soon. Alrighty, so prompt number three was to read a book that is a quick read. So that was the Animal Studies. So I had a little bit of trouble with this one because I couldn't quite decide which would be a quick read. I could use Life is Strange as an example, but unfortunately we can't double up. So this one I'm going to go with The Moth Catcher by Anne Cleves. This is book seven in the Vera Stanhope series. And it is, it's not necessarily a quick read, but I fly through these like this no tomorrow. So I finished another book of hers just the other day in essentially an afternoon so it's the chapters are nice and short too so I can breeze through this pretty much in less than a day so that's why I'm going to be using for quick read because that is essentially a quick read for me like I said it's the chapters very 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 short so okay so prompt number four was astron astronomy and that is a book on top of your TBR so this one for this one I'm going to go with the Atlas 6 by Olivia Olivia Blake. So this is a brand new standalone. This was released as an indie book last year but then got picked up by a publisher for reprint. So I think in this one we follow I think it's four, no six main characters who essentially fight out to win a place in a secret society but unfortunately one has to die. So I've heard quite good, good things about this. Um, hopefully it lives up to the expectations. I have a love-hate relationship with hyped books. Sometimes I love them, sometimes I don't. So hopefully this picks, this um, lives up to the hype. That's all I'll say. Alrighty, so prompt number five was The Conjuration, and that is to read a book with a source of light on the cover. So in the month of April, I will be participating in the Stand By Me Along, which is hosted by Paige from Pages with Paige and Crystal from Bond Book Reviews. I will leave a link to that down in the description as well. But basically for this, we will be reading The Stand by Stephen King. So, uh... This is fucking huge. Like, I think this is, I think 
pages is this? 1,000 something or other? 1,206 pages. Yeah. Um, mind you, I did read Drums of War last month, which was just over 1,000. So, hopefully I can breeze through the stem. I can breeze through the third outline of the book because it's freaking huge. <laughs> um, so, the way I've interpreted this. So, Sky, light on the cover. Sky's the source of light. We'll go with that. And prompt number six was to read a restoration book. So this is a book featuring healers. So for this one, I'm going to go with the fourth land book, Drums of Warlam. So Claire in this book is a doctor slash healer in the past. So this is the prompt I'm going to go with. This is part of the Outlander read along I'm doing with a couple of other booktubers. Basically, we've decided to read the whole Outlander series. One book a month in the lead up, essentially, to finishing book nine which was go tell the bees i'm gone so this again is another chunker i do have the audio book for this so hopefully i can get through this because i have read it before but i remember last time it wasn't as great i did struggle to get through this quite a bit um hopefully this month is not the case but we shall see. Okay, so very quickly I'm going to go over the books I'm going to use for Ramathon. Again, I'm not going to go into the details of what prompts these are because I can't really remember. But these three, so War Two Queens, The Stand and Drums of Autumn are the three main books I'm going to use at the moment. Mainly because they are chunky <laughs> and I don't know whether I'm going to get through all of these. Hopefully I can, but with the other two books I have, hopefully I can get out of my, no, three books, sorry I should say. Hopefully I can finish these, but I do have the audio for Drums of Autumn, so hopefully I can just listen to that while I do housework, but these two I do, these two top ones I do have to read physically, because uh, I don't have the audio book, and uh, ain't no one got time for that at the moment, so. <laughs> but we shall see how I go with that. So these little beauties are my picks for Realmathon. Alrighty, so these guys here is my April TBR. Uh, holy shit. That is huge. Why do I pick such big books? Why do I do this to myself? Why? Um, yes, so that is where I will leave it for today. As always, I will leave the links to all the readathons down below so you guys can check them out. If you made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so already. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up as always. And I shall see you guys in the next one. Bye.